All right, well, Casey here with CL Creative, where I'm teaching you web design and web flow one video at a time. And today we're going to talk about how you sort a CMS collection. It's a lot easier than you think, and it's going to allow you to be able to place those items inside of the CMS or on your page wherever you want them to be placed within that list. It's a great way to highlight particular portfolio items or even particular blog posts in the order that you want them, regardless of when you put them inside of your CMS collection. So let's jump into the computer and check things out. All right, well, how do we sort this CMS collection? Well, we're here in the computer, so let me show you how to do that. I have a portfolio list that I placed on my homepage and I'm clicked on the actual portfolio list. And if we go over here on the side, you're gonna notice that I have this set to a limit of six items. I could change that if I want, and I can go, you know, eight items, and then eight items are going to show up here, or I can click back on that list, and I can go, you know, say to four items, four items are going to show up here, and I want to be able to control which four or six or eight items sh actually show up on this particular page. And so one of the ways that we can do that is we can sort so that we have the ones that we want showing up. And what I've actually done is you've, I've used this sort button over here or this sort category filter, if you will. Um, and what this is actually doing is pulling from the CMS. And so if I open this up, you're gonna notice that the different input fields that I have in my CMS are gonna show up here on this bar along with a few kind of baked in ones, created on, published on, updated on, and then random order which can be interesting. I'll show that in an upcoming video when we look at how do you, you know, generate random things on the screen, like maybe uh, a quote. But for now, let's focus on sort number because this is what I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. We're gonna pop over here to the actual CMS collections, the portfolios. And you notice that I have this sorted, pre-sorted for us here by the sort number. And so if you notice that I have one, 1.1, 1 .1, there's uh, 1.7 popped in there somehow. Let me update that. 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 4, 5. Now you're probably thinking, why does he have all of these 1.1s? Well, because it makes it easier. So if I pop into this collection here, I have my sort number. And there are many different ways you can set this up. You can set it up just as an integer, one, two, three, four. You could set this up as a decimal, which is what I would recommend and how I have this set up and then any format. I would select between these two instead of that one there because then you might kind of get yourself messed up. But uh, with the decimal, you have that option to do one, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. And what that allows you to do is that, say you originally set up this collection and you know that, hey, I've got, um, how many items do I have in this? 21 items. And so I set this collection up. I put my sort number and I just do one through 21. So as I'm putting these in, um, I'm labeling each sort number according to the number that is going in. Well, in the future, if I want number 21 to be, you know, the second, well, then I might have to go through and resort the entire list. And so decimals allow or keep you from having to do that. And so instead of resorting the entire list, you could just say, well, I want that to be the second one. So I'm going to put 1.1 on there, or I want it to be, you know, the, 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 or I have another one that I want to be the third one. So I'm going to put that as 1.2. And so that's how I've utilized that here. Hopefully that is, is making sense how I'm doing that. And, and so if I wanted this to be the last on, you know, the, the ones, then I might say, like 1.9. Now, instead of this being second in the in the list, you notice that jumped around. This would actually be the last in the list, and this is not even going to show up here because I've limited those items, and so I'd have to put in like nine items in order to get that one there, there back. So that's just one way that you can go through and you can begin to to sort your different portfolio items, sort your blog posts, sort anything else that you have inside of a CMS collection and actually have control over how you want that to be sorted or actually place those where you want those to be placed. 
So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, you know, would you like this video? If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to the channel. And if you have some ideas on some future posts, then go ahead and leave that down in the comments and I will try to make a video uh, that answers your question. Hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.